Okay, uh, this is probably the last uh, video that we have to take. It's about the female genital tract. Uh, first, uh, here this is the, the ventral aspect. Okay, here's the region of the vestibule containing the opening of the vagina and the urethra. And uh, this is the lateral aspect. This is the posterior aspect. Okay. So first, if we uh, remove this and talk about uh, just one segment, uh, this is the uh, pubic symphysis, of course. Uh, here we have uh, the bladder again. We talked about the bladder in the male reproductive system. It's the same. Here you have the internal. Uh, and this is the uh, ureteric uh, orifice. This is the interureteric ridge, right? This is the uh, internal urethral orifice or the opening of the urethra. And this is the region of the trigon. You can see this is the uvula vesicae and so on. These are the folds of the bladder. Uh, then in the female, of course, we have the uterus and the vagina. So this is the uterus. As you can see, this is the posterior aspect. And this is the posterior aspect. Uh, this is the anterior aspect. So here, uh, uh, if we t uh, take a look at the inside, uh, we can see, uh, okay, it's better to take both samples. Okay, this is the uterus. It's divided into the fundus. So this part here is fundus. Uh, this is and is superior to the uh, entrance of the uterine tubes, the fundus. Below, then we have the corpus or the body, the body of the uterus. Finally, this is the region of the cervix. Okay. Uh, attached to its lateral walls are the uterine tubes. These are the uterine tubes. And this is the other one. Each is divided into four segments. Uh, the first one is the uh, the first is the infundibulum. It has fimbri, so these are the fimbri of the infundibulum of the uterine tube. Then you have a region of the ampulla, slightly dilated part. Then you have the isthmus of the uterine tube. Okay, as we said, this is the isthmus of the uterine tube. And finally, here this is the intramural part, which enters the uterus. Uh, below the uterine tube and close to it is, of course, the ovary. This is the region of the ovary. Okay? Uh, attached and it's attached to the uterus by way of the round ligament of the ovary. This is the round ligament of the ovary. Then, of course, this is the uterine cavity leading down into the vagina. So, and it probably we can say, but although the uh, doctor uh, didn't mention it, this is the anterior vaginal fornix. We can say that. This is the vagina, of course. This is the hymen. Okay. And uh, behind, of course, this is the rectum. And this is uh, and the, uh, yes, the anal canal, okay? This is the anal canal. The rectum has been removed. Uh, 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 so basically, that's, about, uh, that's all about the female reproductive tract. But uh, one last thing is, if we bring these pieces together again, here, this is the region of the vestibule, the opening of the vagina, and the opening of the urethra uh, anteriorly. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, what's uh, left is mainly, we forgot this one, the urogenital diaphragm. It contains the sphincter urethrae muscle and the deep uh, transversus perineus muscle, okay? It's surrounding the urethra, as you can see. This is the external urethral orifice. And uh, the, uh, regarding the anal canal, this is the internal anal sphincter. Here, this is circular smooth muscle involuntary. This is the external anal sphincter, it's voluntary. This is the anal canal, as we said. We can divide it by a pectinate line into the upper part or half or two-third and the lower half. Okay, there, this is uh, of importance, of course. If, uh, for example, uh, the pointer is, uh, what's the blood supply of this area? We have to know the difference. The upper half of the anal canal is supplied by the superior rectal branch of the inferior mesenteric artery in this region. Whereas uh, the lower half is supplied by the inferior rectal artery, which is a branch of the internal pudendal artery from the internal iliac artery. Okay, uh, or uh, what, where does the lymph drain from this region? Uh, it goes, of course, to the uh, internal ilia and uh, to the inferior mesenteric nodes, uh, ultimately. Whereas from here, it goes to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. And the nerve supply is also different. This is autonomic nervous system. This is pudendal nerve. And it, it's sensitive to touch, pain, temperature. And that's why if a tumor develops here, you, it's painless. If a tumor develops here, it's painful. And uh, finally, this is mucosa. This is skin, stratified squamous epithelium. And you can see the mucosa is thrown into folds. These are the anal columns. And this, these are anal columns.
okay I believe that's be and yes one, one important thing actually if we bring these together I almost forgot about them this is the broad ligament of the uterus all this okay that really is as you can see this broad ligament of the uterus he didn't mention these structures I don't know maybe well, let's not you know, speculate uh, yes, uh, what muscle and fat? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the, this was the retropubic fat fat again, as we saw in the male reproductive system. Uh, if we take a look here, and it, this seems like the bladder, yes. This is just a portion of the bladder. This is continuation of the vagina. This is the, uh, and the anal canal. Okay, and the bladder, the vagina, the anal canal. And here we have the uh, levator ani muscle. This is all the vetera ani on both sides. And this is the obturator internus. The other muscles are not required. The, you know, yes, they're not. Okay? So that's basically it.